Welcome and good morning. Um, today we will have a speaking series, episode one, with Professor Tan Ngo Diao, the chair of Global Institute of Social Work and the board member of International Association School of Social Work. We are so delighted and pleased to have you here today. Before we begin, we will have you ask a few, uh, say a few words, and then we'll have our team member introduce the set of questions. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you, uh, Professor Wana. We are grateful that the ASEAN Training Center for Social Work is uh, launching this series, and we are happy to participate the Global Institute of Social Work, as well as the International Associations of Schools of Social Work. The ASEAN Training Centre is going to be an impact for the communities around ASEAN, and we wish all the professionals continue training so that we upgrade our skills and competence to serve the society better. Thank you. Good morning, Dr. Tan. Today there are four groups of questions asked by the ATCSW staff and interns. So we're starting the first question by Vipoy Subhashaya. It's my honor to be here today to ask you about social problems and social work questions. So the broad social problems that I have, there are two questions. The first one is, who defines what the social problem is? Well, um, it's a good question. Social problems are issues, uh, concerns that um, affect large number of people. If it is just one person's personal problem, then they will solve it themselves. But if it affects a number of people, then the community will take it seriously and the community will actually do something about it. So social problems are things that have to be addressed. Thank you. And next, why do some social problems receive much attention while others are ignored? Very good question. There are many social problems, uh, problems of poverty, problems of discrimination, problems that affect uh, employment, for example, say unfair practices of uh, employment or people from rural or foreign countries coming into a city to, to work. So these issues and problems will receive attention because it affects a number of people. As to who defines and how it is affecting, usually they are economic and political. Therefore, the government would set laws or legislations to deal with some of these social problems. For example, in the recent times, we see many transnational marriages, uh, people from Singapore marrying Thai and or people from the Western countries marrying Asian. So you have transnational families and it's getting a lot of attention. And this kind of uh, problems or concerns have to be addressed because it is affecting the social economic community and uh, we then uh, have to be prioritizing social problems and issues so that they can be resolved. Training, education, uh, intervention like counseling, casework, uh, or community integration of some of these people. So depending on the types of problem and the cultural context, they are actually selected for prevention of policy issues. Thank you, that's a very good answer. It depends on their context and cultural, depends on the country as well. Yes. Uh, and the last one that I would like to ask, what are the impacts of defining social problem in a particular way? You know, social problems are defined by public uh, opinion. Uh, it can be even in the media now, social media can define uh, the issues and concern 
or the citizens putting it up on the YouTube and becoming a big issue. Uh, usually, social policy have a social economic uh, uh, background so that people address it because there is a social investment value like issue of juvenile delinquency. If you can rehabilitate, you can integrate uh, some younger people who are involved with uh, crimes and delinquency, um, they can make positive contribution to society. So you find that there is an economic investment in helping young people to be uh, integrated into society and contributing to their social economic well-being. So uh, as to how it is decided and defined, I think uh, there are considerations, but I think more than just the economic, we should be focusing on the key uh, aspect of uh, um, social well-being of people and society. And I think that would be a priority issue.